Welcome to Club Administrator. If you've just installed in Club Administrator and opened it for the first time, you'll need to select the version you wish to use. There's the three versions, the limited, premium and professional. The limited only allowing up to 70 students and restricting certain functions. The premium providing all functions and unlimited students um, without the multi styles and programs that are available in the professional version. We're going to register the professional version, so we click OK. If you're not sure, you can register the professional version. These can be this option can be changed at a later date, and it's letting us know that we have 30 days of free evaluation period to use Club Administrator. The 30-day period will start from when we first start entering students. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up um, some critical configuration items. Um, we need to come into our options and set up tax. Uh, we're going to be configuring membership fees and other other items that will be using tax options. So we need we need to set this up first. Um, Club administrator caters for a goods and service tax or a VAT value added tax, um, depending on what this tax is referred to in your your country and what the amount is. You can select the use of tax options. If you don't have one of these taxes, just unselect the allow use of tax options and that those values will not appear. Okay, so we've got the tax options selected. By default, they are already selected. Okay, now the first thing we need to set up is our, is our, um, our grades and levels or programs that we're going to be um, entering our members into. Now, if you're using the professional version, you'll be able to set up styles and programs. If you're not using the professional version, then um, that's not available to you. We go into here to styles and programs. We've got my program, which is the default program that's been set up. Now, we can change that to be any name. The three-letter prefix is used in, some, in, a, in a couple of instances where we're wanting to um, just have a prefix rather than the full name of the style of program in reporting just to make things a little bit neater. Um, we're going to set up a mixed martial arts program and we're going to call it mixed martial arts. Okay, and we're going to have grades and levels in that program. Now we can access we can access setting up our levels um, from here in the grades and grades and levels, or when we're in here in the styles and programs, we can click click on the icon here to set up our grades and levels. Now they've already been set up here with a Q and a Dan grade system. If you weren't using that system and you wanted to call it something else, you can just go in here and change that however you like. Now here. Um, we have, you'll see down the left hand side of the screen, a numbering system going 10, 20, 30 and so on. This simply represents the order. If I wanted to insert some grades, let's just say I had some very young children and we wanted to insert a, um, a first level that's before the ninth cube. Let's just say we wanted to have two additional levels for our young children. We could put in here um, number 15, and this would be, um, let's just call it kids 1, and we're only going to allow that for our youngest children. Um, One, age, here we go, for our youngest children, which will be our dragons. Um, also, these are our age groups. These have already been set up. And we'll have another one, we'll put like at number 17, and we'll call it kids 2. And again, we're only going to have this for our dragons. If I just resort those now. You'll see here we've got kids one and kids two before our ninth queue, and that's only available to our Dragon students. 
we go out of there here under our age groups we already have all our age groups set up um, we probably won't have one year olds let's just say that let's just say for your program you were going to have your dragons as three to six year olds and your tigers as seven to ten year olds and then your junior program would be your 11 to 15 year olds or whatever settings you'd like okay the other thing we want going to set up for our program is our classes we've already got an advanced beginner and a general class now we're going to have our young children's class so we're going to call it our dragons class and we're going to call it a tigers class now let's just say for the adult program we're going to have an extended tra training session where it's going to be uh, an additional payment to do that session and it's going to go for longer so we want to give the person additional credit um, for doing that session we'll have an extended training session extended training and let's just say it's going to be the equivalent of two classes so we're going to chat we're going to give them two classes credit and the actual payment that they have to make is the same as one and a half regular classes so that's how we'd set that up in um, a club administrator. Now let's say we have a second program. This might be an external program where we're going to go out and say run classes in schools. We'll call this TXT for external and external here. Now there's not going to be any styles or anything, any levels associated with this program. So we untick multi level and that's no longer available. We could set up classes for this program if we wanted to. Um, it's already got a default class set up. Um, it won't be, may not be required. If you had another program, for instance, um, yoga, for this program, you may not have um, belt levels. So we may, we may we may just want to leave that as a beginner level, but we may have we may have different age groups, and so we could in here set up a couple of age groups. We could have a senior age group, which would be all our people who were 16, senior, all our people from 16 upwards, and we probably won't have any 255 year olds, and junior program, junior. Which would be for ages, um, again, we'll start at 3 to 15. Okay, so that's how we'd set up our yoga program. No, no levels, but with, with age groups, all the same. Alright, um, let's move on from here. So if we leave the um, styles 